Welcome to the wireless setup guide for your Foscam FI9821W wireless IP camera. What we're going to be doing in this guide is uh, going over from where we left off in the last video uh, when we did basic setup and setting up wireless now on our camera. This video basically pertains only if you're going to be using your camera wirelessly. If you're going to be using your camera on an Ethernet cable, you don't really have to watch this video. Um, but it's usually good to learn, you know, just in case you want to make it wireless in the future. So let's go ahead and uh, start. So wh what I have over here is the IP camera tool opened up on the foreground of my computer screen. You can see that my camera is online at the same IP address I left it at in the last video. So what we're going to do is go ahead and open up uh, the camera in Safari by double clicking on it. And it'll open up with IP address colon port, which is 88. And since I haven't set up a password yet, I'm just going to go ahead and click Login. And I'm logged into the camera now. And what we want to do is go to Settings here at the top. And on the Settings page, we want to go to the left side where it says Network. And we want to click on Wireless Settings. And over here, you can see that the Wireless Settings page has kind of the basic thing like as that was present in the FI 8, 9, 10 W camera and older MJPEG cameras. Um, not really anything new here. Except maybe for the list uh, and also telling you actually the quality of the networks that you're looking at. So let's go ahead and push scan because we want to scan for wireless networks. Make sure that you have the antenna connected to the back of the camera on that coaxial gold uh, connector over there. And once it's connected, go ahead and push scan. When you push scan, it's going to take about maybe 10 seconds or so uh, for the camera to scan for all the wireless networks in the area. Um, generally, it takes only about 10 seconds. So once it scans everything, it's going to filter everything out. Uh, you'll see that the most uh, the, the networks that have the most signal are at the top of the, the list. So you can see here that there is Foscam 2 and Foscam Wi-Fi network, uh, which I'm closest to actually. The camera is closest to these networks. And then I have a whole bunch of other networks here that are uh, kind of, you know, a little, not not so bad, but, uh, you know, it's better to connect to these. So, you know, depending on where your camera is located currently, um, you might get bars, you know, maybe two bars or three bars, and then you can see on different pages you have uh, just one bar networks. Probably won't really work so well on your camera. You probably will get disconnects frequently and maybe not even be able to connect sometimes. So what we're going to do is since we're on Foscam's Wi-Fi network and you can check that here on by default you can see that our Wi-Fi network is this one that we're connected to. That's the one that we want to connect to so we're going to click here and when you click here you can see that the encryption is WPA2. You might have WPA or you might have WEP. I really suggest using WPA2 just because it's the most secure out of all encryptions. Um, so, you know, it's up to you, personal preference, but uh, I have WPA2 currently set up um, on my camera. So you can see that I had uh, put in this password actually previously to uh, making this video. So when you click on your network, for example, if I clicked on Foscam2 or Wi-Fi or Amcrest, it's actually going to pre-fill the password that I had uh, put in for my original network. So you want to make sure that uh, whichever network you're putting in, and because you haven't put in a password yet, you're going to have default you know, password over here. But since I had something already input, it was pre-filling this. So you're going to want to put in your password for your wireless network over here. And that's really all you have to put in. Um, if you're on WEP, for example, it's going to be a little different you'll have keys so if you have just a regular 10 digit key uh, maybe on if you're using like AT&T UVerse or something like that you'll have a 10 digit WEP key that you want to put into the first key over here but obviously if you're using maybe more advanced encryption like 128 bit WEP key you want to change this over here but I'm using WPA2 so it really depends on what encryption you use um, and the password for my network is Foscam123. 
one, two, three. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. So I have my password put in correctly. Check to see if the SSID is showing up correctly here. Um, case sensitive, you know, everything like that. And that your encryption is the same as what it is in your router, uh, just to make sure. So we're going to click Save. And when you click Save, you'll see that that little loading screen, that little loading symbol comes up right there in the middle. And what it does is it just saves the information to the camera, but um, usually what needs to happen is you actually have to, the camera needs to reboot. So in order to do that, what you're going to want to do is take the plug out of the camera and then also take the Ethernet out of the camera. And just to make sure we have everything set up here, if we refresh, you can see that the password's still there. So remember, you want to save. And then what we're going to do right now is I'm going to take the power out of the camera from the back of the camera and also take out the Ethernet cord. Okay, and then what that what that's going to do is it's going to power off the camera and also make sure that the camera isn't connected to a uh, router by a wire because if if it's connected by an Ethernet cord, that actually overrides the wireless. So the camera won't use the wireless network um, if it's connected by an Ethernet cord. It's just going to be using that wired connection. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So you should be able to do that as well. And I'll come back in a second. Okay, and so when you plug out the the power connector from the camera, you want to make sure that the Ethernet plug, as I said, is is taken out as well. And then just plug in the power again. Plug in the power adapter back into the camera so that it reboots. And it's going to start doing its uh, panning, tilting thing again. And you'll see here that if I try to maybe go to a different section, it's constantly loading. If I try to go to live video or something, it'll just be constantly loading. So that means it's the camera disconnected. So that's fine. We can just exit out of Safari. Um, you don't have to force close. It's just a habit of mine. I tend to force close a lot of different things. But you can keep IP camera tool open. Um, this is actually going to pop up the camera again when it connects. So right now your camera probably stopped panning and tilting. Um, at the back you can see that there's two indicator lights, the red light and the green light. Um, what happens usually is the red light is always going to stay on because that's usually for power. The green light um, is more of an indicator for wireless. So you can see probably right now that the green light is blinking uh, probably on and off every second or so. It's a little a little fast, not too fast, but uh, pretty fast. And you can see that the camera actually showed up uh, on my IP camera tool software again. And now the camera is connected wirelessly, which is great. So you can you know double check to see if the configuration is correct on your network configuration, just to make sure you know you have the same IP address again. A gateway is fine, DNS, you know, the port, everything looks to be the same. So that's great. And then let's double just double check to uh, see for ourselves in the browser. We double click and open it up in Safari. It loads up the interface and we can log in. And we're able to see video. And that's great. We can pan tilt up and down like so and looks to be doing good and if we want to just double check again if we go to settings we go to network wireless settings we see that we're connected to Foscam's Wi-Fi network and we have the password there so that is basically the end of the wireless video that's how you set up wireless on your Foscam FI9 821W and other corresponding models so let's go ahead and get into port forwarding now, which will be the final step in getting your camera set up uh, fully to be seen over the internet. And I'll see you in that next video.